I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, another wonderful, blessed, glorious, beautiful, and awesome time in the presence of our Creator, our strength, our Redeemer, the Lord God. My prayer to God Almighty is for God to keep us in His presence and under His shadow all the days of our lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome once again to another beautiful service. This is the part of Righteousness Church of Christ. Church of the Living God, the Church of Holiness, the Church of Truth, and my prayer to God is, as you worship with us in this ministry, may you be connected to the socket of truth, life, and power of the Holy Ghost in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is another beautiful day, a day that the Lord has made, a day that you and I must rejoice and be glad in it. I want you to lift up your voice and appreciate God for giving you the grace to see the light of another beautiful day, the Sabbath day, the holy day. The day of joy, the day of peace, the day of breakthrough, the day of healing, the day of deliverance, the day of salvation. But I will worship you. We bless and we exalt your name. Lift up your voice and appreciate God for He is God. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is our Father, our strength, our Maker, our Redeemer. Worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. Give Him praise, give Him praise, give Him praise. Let everything that has bread, the Bible says, praise the Lord. Because you and I are among the living today, let us lift up our voices and appreciate God. Father, we appreciate you. We appreciate you for your mercy, for your grace, for your love. We appreciate you, Lord, for giving us Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God Almighty, for giving us the name of Jesus that is a strong tower that saved the righteous. Oh, thank you, Jehovah Lord, for setting the table before us. Thank you, Lord, for your strength in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for making our ways, oh God, perfect and straight before thee. Thank you, Jehovah God, for everything that you have done for us, what you are doing, and what you are still going to do. All glory be to you now and forevermore. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, merciful God, we know we have sinned against thee. We have come to of your glory. Daddy, we pray for mercy. We pray for cleansing. We pray, O oh God, for restoration of our souls. Forgive us of all our sins. Wash away all the iniquities of our hearts and create in us the spirit of sin no more. Lay your mighty hand of power upon us and de destroy every plan of the enemies against our lives. Destroy every evil dreams. Destroy every expectations of darkness destroy every rage of the wicked in the name of our lord jesus christ we soak this service this morning in the blood of jesus and in the fire of the Holy ghost we cover every life every souls all the members of the path of righteousness church of christ we cover them all with the blood of jesus we cover those that will be listening to this message in the future we cover their lives their families their homes everything that concerns them we cover in the blood of jesus and in the fire of the Holy ghost father my life i lay at your feet of God, forgive me of all my sins, wash me clean, and make me, Lord, a vessel unto honor, fit for your use all the days of my life, and fill me, I pray, Lord, with Holy Ghost, power and fire. Use me, O Lord, in my time. Use me in this generation as your oracle, as your mouthpiece, as your vessel to propagate your gospel, and let your gospel go forth every day like fire and deliver those in bondage and captivities of dark powers in the name of Jesus. Let your gospel go forth with authority and power and set the captives free. Let your gospel go forth with authority and power and save those that are on the path of destruction in the name of Jesus. By the reason of your word today, souls shall be saved, lives shall be delivered, and destinies shall be transformed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We start this service by singing, have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? As to sing the same, may Jesus Christ come down in the fullness of his mercy, grace, and love, and cleanse us from all iniquities and make our lives whole again in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in his grace? These are, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Walking daily by their Savior's side, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? 
Do you rest each moment in the crucified and be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm 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 -mm. When the bridegroom cometh, will your robes be white? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansion's bride? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garment that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Amen. My soul must magnify the Lord, and my spirit and my spirit praise His name. For death could not hold Him captive, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord, my soul, my soul, must magnify the Lord. And my spirit, and my spirit, praise His name for them. For them who not hold him captive, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. I will call upon the Lord. We call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be, who is worthy to be, who shall I be saved from my enemy? The Lord reigns, be the rock, may the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord remain, let it be the rock, may the rock of my salvation be exalted. Oh, they leave Jesus, ah, yeah, leave Jesus, ah, yeah, yeah, lift him up for the world to see. For he said, if I be lifted up from the head, I will draw men unto me. The goodness of the golden bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The goodness of the golden bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The goodness of the golden bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete in the complete, 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 complete in the hallelujah. I am complete in the hallelujah. Complete, complete, complete in the hallelujah. I am complete in the. It's not.
not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete in Him. Father, we we'll thank you. It's the rock of ages, the Almighty God, the everlasting Father, the perfect and the holy one of Israel. Father, we we'll bless, we we'll worship, we we'll exalt, and we we'll magnify your holy name. Take all the glory now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, O God, for making us to be complete in you. It's not by works of righteousness, but it's by your grace, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your grace that is sufficient. We thank you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, for your power. We thank you, Lord, for the fullness of your presence over us, over our families, over this church. Father, take all the glory now and forevermore in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Merciful Father, we surrender all. Forgive us of all our sins. Wash us clean from iniquities of our hearts and create no spirit of sin no more. Lay your mighty hand power upon us and connect us to your socket of prayer, power and Holy Ghost, all the days of our lives. In the name of Jesus, I want you to lift up your voice and pray to God today. Say, my Father, my Father, make me, Lord, a usable vessel in your kingdom. Make me, O oh Lord, make us, O oh Lord, usable vessels in your kingdom. Make our children, make our husbands, make our wives, make every member of this church usable vessels in your kingdom. Make us usable vessels in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, we appreciate the agenda of Satan to hijack our souls faithfully now in the name of Jesus. Agenda of Satan to hijack our souls. Agenda of Satan to derail our calling, our destiny. Faithfully now in the name of Jesus. Agenda of Satan over our lives, over our souls. Faithfully now, faithfully now, faithfully now. In Jesus' name, we have praise. My Father, deliver us, O Lord, from the devices of the devil. O Lord God of heaven, deliver us. Deliver this church. Deliver every family members. Deliver our children, our husbands, our wives. Deliver every members in this church from the devices of the devil. Deliver us, O Lord, from the tricks and the devices of the devil. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We soak the service. We soak the members. We soak the church with the blood of Jesus and with the Father of the Holy Ghost. By the authority in the name of Jesus, we trust trample upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over all the paths of darkness, and nothing, according to the word of God, shall by enemies utter us, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, open the eyes of our understanding, and teach us by yourself today. In Jesus' most wonderful, blessed, and glorious name, we have prayed. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. Welcome once again to this glorious service. This is the part of righteousness church of god the church of peace the church of joy the church of happiness the church of christ as you worship with us day by day may you all encounter the raw demonstration of the power of god almighty and may we all be under his shadow all the days of our lives in jesus name we are praying very quickly we shall be looking this morning at what the Lord God Almighty has given us the grace to look into for this glorious service, which is titled, Obtaining Good Success and Prosperous Way. Obtaining Good Success and Prosperous Way. Beloved, there is a kind of success that is good, and there is a kind of way that is prosperous. A good success and a prosperous way can only be found in Jesus. Jesus is the only perfect God. There is no perfection in man. There is no perfection in flesh. The only perfection can be found in Jesus. I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus, as we listen to this message, may we all receive the benefit of the word of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the word of God prosper in our lives, in our souls, in the name of Jesus. As the word of God is being preached, every limitations, every barriers in this church, whosoever is saying this church will not grow, whosoever is setting limits, for this church, fire and thunder of God, we aim their rage in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus. The gate of hell, the gate of limitations, the gate of emptiness, the gate of stagnancy, the gate of worldliness, the gate of sin shall not prevail over this church, over all the online members, and over all the viewers in the name of Jesus. As you gather to worship God in this church, every plans of the enemies over your lives, they are counseled now by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, 
It is done. Beloved, you and I, we shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. The truth is Jesus. The truth is the word of God. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may our hearts receive the truth in Jesus' name. Obtaining good success and a prosperous way. Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. Let's read from verse 1 through to 8. The Bible says, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is there. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the soul of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. As I said unto Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Ephraim, all the land of the Etatite, and unto the great sea towards the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto these people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which are sworn unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper wheresoever thou goest. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. I want you to underline Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. That is the word of God for you and I to have a prosperous way and good success. Many are lying to us in this age that you can obtain success even while you are doing fictitious and horrible things. While you are putting your hands in fraudulent activities. No, good success and a prosperous way can only be found in obeying God's commandment and be hardworking. Be courageous, be strong, be hardworking. Let's go back to verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do, thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, not according to small, not according to part, according to all that is written therein. For then, after you and I, after we have been doing according to all that is written in the book of the law. After that, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. It is after obedience that the way of a man will be prosperous. It is after complete obedience to the law of, laws of the law that one's way will be prosperous and then thou shalt have good success in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God Almighty give us the spirit of obedience. Obedience is to act in diligently. Obedience is to say yes. Obedience is not to question authority. Obedience is to walk according to lay down rules. Obedience is to say yes, Lord, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ from this day on. Every spirit of disobedience in our life be cast out now into the bottom left lake of fire in the name of Jesus. Many are desiring, many in this generation, they desire success. They desire a prosperous way. They desire a peaceful life. But how many of us are willing to act in diligently to the voice of the Lord our God? How many of us are willing to do according to all that is written in the book of the law? How many of us are willing to forsake the world? How many of us are willing to say bye-bye to the flesh? How many of us are willing to nail our flesh to the cross? I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost from this day on. May the Lord strengthen us. May the Lord empower us to live a life of obedience in the name of our Lord Jesus. Christ. After the death of Moses, God charged Joshua to lead his people to possess the promised land. And in verse 8, the Lord told him that 
for you to have a prosperous way, a good success, and to possess this land that the, the law, the book of the law must not depart from your mouth. Many are looking for miracles, but they are not willing to study the Bible. The truth that you need, that we need to live a prosperous life, they are in the Bible. When the Bible says, study to show yourself and prove unto God, a workman that does not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, we need to study, we need to meditate, we need to search. Do you want your life to become shining? Do you want to live a life of holiness, a life of fame? A life of honor, then you and I we must prepare to study. It is in not it is in studying that we we'll get knowledge. It is in studying that we we'll get power. It is in study that we will be enlightened. God told him the book of the law must not depart out of their mouth. God Father went on to tell him that you must meditate day in day and night. Just not not just meditating only once. Meditate day in day and night. So whenever you are studying the word of God, don't study the word of God just to pray. The problem in this age is we only pray when we need something from God. We only pray or study the Bible when we are in troubles. How many of us have a daily encounter with God to know more about God? Do you want your ways to be prosperous? Do you want to have good success? Then have a fellowship with God. Meditate on the word of God. Stay with God. Be in his presence day and night. And God told him as well that do according to all that is written in the earning. God told him that everything that I have passed across to you through my servant Moses, you yourself do according to all that is written. What has the Lord written and what is God asking us to do? Is asking us to obey. All what the Lord was telling Joshua in summary, was Joshua obey my commandment? Joshua obey my instructions. Joshua follow me and not man. Joshua be focused on what I have for you. Joshua, open your eyes to see where I'm taking you to. Beloved, prosperous ways. Maybe you don't understand. When we talk about a way being prosperous, we are talking about a way that is successful. We are talking about a way that is fruitful. We are talking about a way that is glorious, a great way, a blessed way. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, may our ways be prosperous. People are, are confusing God's prosperity with money. Anyone can have money, but only few, those who are obeying the word of God, we have prosperous ways. The blessings of the Lord, Bible says, make it rich and added no sorrow. Many have money with sorrow. But when your ways are prosperous, when you are in diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God and follow the commandment of God, you will have success without sorrow. You will have success and you'll be able to sleep. You will have success that will give you peace. You will have success that will give you rest of mind. You will have success that will last the test of time. Why good success, beloved, is outstanding. Do you want to have outstanding life? Good success is a brilliant life. Good success means a great life. It means excellent achievement by the power of the Holy Ghost from this day on. May God give us the grace to obey and may God connect us to the socket of good success in the name of Jesus. Joining the two together, prosperous ways and good success can only be achieved by obeying God, by obeying the instructions and the commandment of God. I want you to pray, beloved. Maybe you are struggling to obey the word of God. Maybe that's why things are not working for you. Maybe you are struggling to live a holy life. Maybe you are struggling to live a righteous life. Maybe you are struggling with sin. Maybe you are struggling. Take it to God in prayer. Take it to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins are grieved to bear. What a privilege to carry. Take it to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Jesus is here today. He is here to forgive you. He is here to give you and I the strength to overcome sin. He is here to give us the grace to live a life of obedience. Want 
just to sing the hymn, what a friend we have in Jesus. Beloved, you need Jesus. We need Jesus to live a prosperous life, to overcome sin, to overcome flesh. We need Jesus. We need to take all to Jesus. Take all to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? There are trouble anywhere. We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find our friends who faith it full? Who we all are sorrow share. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Come back with a load of care. Jesus, precious in our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise for safety? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his hands is take and shield thee. Da, we find the soulless death. Amen. As we take all to God in prayer, may God Almighty strengthen us and over answer our prayers in Jesus name may every unrepentant spirit in our lives may they be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus every grip of sin we are loose from the bondage and grip of sin from today in the name of Jesus the grip of disobedience the grip of rebellious spirit we are set free today by the power in the name of Jesus Father, we want a prosperous way. We want good success. Because we are in your presence today, Lord, let our ways be prosperous in the name of Jesus. In our families, concerning our children, our husbands, our wives, concerning those that will be listening to this message in the future, concerning all the members of this church, may their ways be prosperous in the name of Jesus. May we all have good success, financial success, spiritual success, mental success, marital success, business success, career success. May we all have good success according to the word of God in the name of Jesus. Enemies of our success, enemies of our promotion, enemies of our progress, they are buried now in the name of Jesus. In this week of progress, in this week of expansion, in this week of multiplication, the Lord himself will take us from where we are to another level of glory, honor, and power in the name of Jesus. This is our week, the week that the Lord God Almighty has made. We shall rejoice and be glad this week. We shall prosper. We shall increase. We shall recover all our lost and wasted years in the name of Jesus. Throughout this week, heaven over our lives we open, heaven of success, heaven of joy, heaven of victory, heaven of breakthroughs, heaven of riches shall open unto us in the name of Jesus. All the Prince of Persia on assignment to hinder the angels bringing down our blessings. Such entities in the heavens, they are bound and cast away right now in the name of Jesus. They are bound and cast away right now in the name of Jesus. I pray thee in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ that this week, our divine empires will locate us. This week, 
promotions will be our portion. This week, every good thing we lay hands upon shall succeed greatly in the name of Jesus. This week, we shall be recommended for higher positions in the name of Jesus. And above all, this week, we shall encounter the fresh touch of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. Thank you, blessed Savior. In Jesus' most excellent, beautiful, and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing to you, share the good news. Tell the whole world that for a man to have a prosperous way and to obtain good success, they have to obey the commandment of God. They have to meditate on the word of God and do according to all that is in there. It is then that their way shall be prosperous and they shall obtain good success. As you share this goodness, may God Almighty bless you, increase you, save you and your home. And write your name, my name, and the names of our unborn generations and our families in the book of life in the name of Jesus. Remember, beloved, Jesus is Lord. He's coming back shortly. I beg you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, endeavor to live a righteous, a holy life, a life of faith and obedience to God and His world. And on the last day, may we all be with Christ, our children, our husbands, our wives, and our unborn generations. May we all be with Christ in paradise in the name of Jesus. Remember, beloved, you and I shall know the truth. And the truth has set us free. Remember also, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to the Father except through Jesus. Share this good news. Speak about Jesus to your friends and your loved ones. And invite your loved ones to Christ. As you do so, may your name be written in the book of life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We meet every day, 5 p.m. Irish time to that 5 on Facebook and YouTube. Tomorrow is another time. Let's come together to study the scripture and to pray at the feet of Jesus. And my prayer to God is for God Almighty to over answer all our prayers in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our personalized grace. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven beautiful, wonderful, and excellent. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you and keep shining the Lord. Remember, beloved, this is the path of righteousness, church of God, the church of peace, the church of Christ, the church of holiness the church of deliverance, and the church of salvation. Join us every day as we celebrate Jesus in our lives. God bless you and keep sending the Lord. Bye.